You're, you're basically saying that the body changes when we're mm -hmm. in a calorie deficit. Mm -hmm. It stops doing as much. Yes, that's the activity part. Yeah. But then there's also the metabolic part. So we've got a decrease in non-exercise activity. Yeah. Then we have adaptive thermoreduction, which has to do with a, a metabolic component that has to do with the sympathetic nervous system and also potentially thyroid output as well. So there's this metabolic change that goes on. And there's behavioral or activity change that goes on. So when and people so, say I've got a slow metabolism, they might when, be telling the truth. When people say I have a slow metabolism, what's usually happening is they have a pretty massive drop in NEAT or non-exercise activity to the order of two to 300 calories. Now, adaptive thermoreduction is another 50 to 100 calories. Okay. So we're looking at in the neighborhood of like possibly three, 400 calories that they're no longer burning as a result of the dieting process. 